It's always good to know how to model your way out of a bad situation. And typically I see my beginner Maya students um, get into a situation where they need to delete a bevel or they want to delete a bevel. And so that's what we're gonna cover quickly here. So let's jump over into Maya and I have a simple cube. I'm gonna select an edge and hit Control B to bevel. I'll just add a few segments. And the first way is we can actually type down here in the bottom left below me right here and make sure that this says Mel. If it doesn't, you can hit it and change it from Python to Mel. We can actually see that we have poly bevel one here and we could actually type that in. I could copy that, just say delete and then paste that here with a semicolon and hit enter and it will delete that bevel. Now the problem with that is, is once you start modeling after that construction history, um, there will be vertice number changes and Maya has a really hard time trying to keep track of all that construction history if you go back in and delete a bevel that's happened a long time ago with that method. So it's good to know how to manually do that. So I'm gonna undo that and get back to this bevel and essentially the way I approach it is just select the edges that are the curved part. I'm gonna hold down shift, right click and go to delete edge do not hit delete on your keyboard because otherwise it will leave the vertices um, behind. So let me just do, demonstrate that real quickly. Now if I go into vertex mode, after hitting delete, you can see all the vertices are still there. We don't want that. So we wanna make sure that we're deleting that correctly by shift right clicking and choosing delete edge, or we can hit control and delete and that will do the same thing, all right? So now we just need to reconstruct this edge the way we want it, which is pretty simple. We just select the edge and then we constrain on this axis. So we only wanna grab the one axis we're moving in. We don't wanna grab them uh, and, and move up and down or anything like that. And we can snap it to the edge we're trying to match to. And the easiest way to do that is to go into an orthographic view. So we can go into this right view here, use only this axis, hold down V, and we can snap to this edge. So now we have it to that edge. Now I can go up and do the same thing here. It's much easier now that we have one already there. And then I can right click, choose vertex, and then merge these by going to edit mesh, merge. And we have solved that issue. We can see that the bevel is back. Now there is a bit of a maybe face normal issue here because the bevel you know, affects the face normal. So what we can do is just select these two faces and use some of the mesh display options here to get that kind of back looking somewhat normal. We can set to face and now we've got the cube back the way it was. So that's how to manually remove a bevel in two ways, delete from the Mel script or manually delete it just by snapping vertices and deleting the unused edges that the bevel created, the ones that we want to get rid of. So that's how to do it. I will see you next time. If you wanna learn more about Maya, check out my Maya for Beginners course. Um, it's 25 hours long. I also have a ton of other Maya classes at digitalcreatorschool.com. Thanks for watching.